Hey, this is Kat, and I'm here with Chris Murphy. Hey, how's it going? I started thinking about the rest of my life. I found myself. So let's talk a little bit about the fact that you are a dad. Okay. You have two children. I do. And their ages? Uh, I have a, two boys. Uh, Francisco is six, and Santiago is three. Three. So fairly close in age. Kind of getting out of the woods of baby land. Though. Yeah, where we are right now. Uh, it's, I love it in here. Thank you. But You're glad a, to be done? In a way it's a nightmare because <laughs> I want to be, I want no more napping, I don't want any more diapers, I don't want, so we're kind of getting into the, what I call, I think there's a sweet spot. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they still love you. Before teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. So you have these two kids, I've talked to some other musicians today about being parents. Hey, who was here? Uh, Caroline Brooks and Jill Barber and they were here? and they were all here. You missed them, Pokeroo. Um, so you I know, did. talk to them a little bit about the decision to have kids, and you know, with the moms, they're touring. Yes. Uh, Damien doesn't really tour with his boys. Do you ever tour with your boys? No. I mean, when I go away, the most I go away in a year is kind of like three consecutive weekends, mm -hmm. and then picking up other one week like and and one offs. So I think it would be totally different if we were touring the world right. and you know we playing Istanbul or whatever. But uh, so I can leave my family where they are mm -hmm. for like a you know. A couple, and you're okay like with a, that? I'm certainly okay with that. <laughs> Your it's, wife it's, might not be. Well, it's the easiest time in the world. The last time, well, the couple times ago we went on one of these three week tours. I woke up the first day. Everyone had gone to the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh. I woke up at 5:30 at night. Like that's how. That's really sleep how deprived. rock and roll you are, right? Well, that's I mean, being on tour. In my estimation, is the easiest thing to do when you're a parent. It's sort of selfish. Like I just do whatever I want. I think whatever I want. So very different than some of the, the other parents that I've spoken to today who feel sort of. Well, if you have to bring your kid on tour, I mean that that's and that that just compounds the complication. Is that something that sort of gives you palpitations? The idea of maybe having your kids backstage or being on tour with your kids? No, I've had my kids at shows in Toronto, but that's always just high novelty and it says right. we don't have to find out where they're going to sleep and what yeah. are they going to eat and all those kinds of challenges. Um, I don't think the way that we parent, my wife character, Rebecca, she, <laughs> I mean, and I don't mean to say that we're, we differ on this, but she's really into like it's like they go. They're in the bath at six. They're in yeah. bed at seven. Like this is the way it goes. It, she wouldn't. She wouldn't let that happen. She right. wouldn't go on tour. I think even if we were touring the world, I don't know. I think it would become complicated because she wouldn't come. Right. She'd be like, sorry, we. And have then I might miss them because I don't miss them. Because you're only weeks. gone for a yeah, couple of like, yeah. I love going. I love coming home. <laughs> that's uh, true. I'm a lucky person. Yeah. Well, that's that's a great yeah. answer. Well, amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And uh, that was Chris Murphy. A little shake. Amazing. Would you like some leg warmers? Yes. You can put them on your arms. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. Good night, everybody. <laughs>